Hello everyone, I'm Anton Pankov, and today my colleagues and I will tell you about the development history of the improved physics. We realized that we needed to continue working on game physics right after the release of Update 8.0. It was the update when we added the first version of physics. It went down well with players. Tanks stopped hanging down from the steeps, so the game became more realistic. We implemented those physics, and it solved a great number of problems. When we implemented it, we had an incredible feeling of euphoria as we managed to make such a high-quality breakthrough, which we'd never have dreamed of before. As these physics were being used, we started accumulating many ideas for things that we could do in the future to further improve the game. We thought about how we could make the tank move more realistically, like what people see in real life on parades, on the firing ranges, in movies, and so on. We went to the tank testing grounds to watch them and shoot video references. Then we watched those video materials over and over to have a better understanding of how a combat vehicle should move. In our work, we came to the point where the core for the physics was ready. A tank could already move correctly, and we could adjust its settings using the tool that we had developed specifically for adjusting them. The physics were very close to real life. It had a lot of internal mechanics features that could be adjusted any way you wanted. We could have any settings, from the realistic behavior of the T-34 in 1943, for example, to uh, the realistic behavior of a race car. The first prototypes of the improved physics were exactly like this. We tried to make the behavior of tanks very realistic, sometimes to the detriment of how the tanks behaved in the game, on the maps. The very first prototype of the new physics model was implemented as a separate application. It wasn't built in the server, but it used the physics engine created for the physics in Update 8.0. We started testing our realistic physics. Uh, we did internal testing within the company and with the involvement of anyone interested. Uh, well, those tests showed that our physics are indeed realistic. But perfect realism is not what you need for action-packed tank clashes. So sometimes the tanks moved too slowly, it took a long time to turn. They could get stuck and weren't able to climb hills or get to the other places they can get to now. So we eventually realized that completely realistic physics were not an option. I mean, we could easily have done it, and you can see that in our early version prototypes. The thing was that the players wouldn't like those changes, because the game would have become much more difficult. For example, it takes a while for a tank with realistic settings to reach its maximum speed, uh, about two minutes. Some tanks could never reach their specified maximum speed. So, we chose various iterations of settings, prepared a small group of tanks, and sent them to the first non-version physics common test. We gave players the opportunity to try the improved physics. On the one hand, we received a lot of positive feedback and saw that the community was very interested in this, but on the other hand, we got a lot of critical feedback. Most comments were about the places and positions you could now reach with the new physics. 
the old physics didn't allow you to climb some steep hills. You couldn't go there. Players got stuck on those parts of the map before, so the new physics opened new opportunities, but at the same time brought a number of problems to the map balance. There were a lot of comments about passing through certain areas like railway crossings and so on. This was what we had to work on. Well, the first common test showed that the community wasn't really satisfied with that small degree of realism we had during the first common test. Because realism is one thing, but the loss in dynamics is another. To a greater extent, World of Tanks is not a realistic simulator, but a game with arcade elements. It has a certain degree of historical authenticity, it was very important for us to find the balance between playable physics and realism. Finding the balance between the physics visual perceptive component and gameplay component was a hard task that took a lot of time. But manually adjusting all in-game vehicles would take even longer. There are about 1,650 different combinations of suspension and engines. So, uh, to adjust them all manually, according to our estimates, we would need four years. And since we didn't want to postpone physics for four more years, we started planning to improve the system and developed a new system that could adjust and check any vehicle automatically. So, uh, during the period between the first common test, or non-version test, uh, and the last version test, we were developing the system for automatically adjusting and checking the vehicles. So, following the results of all tests and adjustments, we launched common tests from time to time to check what the balance between gameplay and aesthetics was. In the following iterations of the common tests, we took the feedback from our players into account and such main problems as aiming below the depression angles when braking. We removed this option, then we started looking for a reasonable balance in dynamics so that players could still perform such gameplay elements as baiting and the vehicles were not too slow. We worked in that direction. There were positive changes, but when we were running common tests in September and after that, we couldn't find that balance between enough realism and convenient gameplay for players. We received tons of feedback. We analyzed it all. Then we launched two common tests, one after another, within a week. During that week, we fixed a lot of things we didn't want to fix, but had to. We readjusted the dynamics of the vehicles, doubled the number of researched test vehicles, and launched the second common test right away. We knew we were on the right track, because the physics that brought new features, improved dynamics, used more types of terrain, and allowed implementation of new sounds we hadn't used before, was accepted well by the players. It's better than if we put players in a real tank simulator and made them struggle against their own vehicle, against difficult controls. The vehicle dynamics and firing depend on its control and movement. So there was a big risk of spoiling that feeling and impression, both from the game and the improved physics. In the second common test, all vehicles were available to players. This test was accepted more positively. We knew that we had abandoned full realism and that we were moving in the right direction. But still, there were many annoying drawbacks. Players still felt that the tanks weren't controllable enough. They mentioned some resistance in controlling the tanks. So, we needed to make the controls more dynamic. But uh, at the same time, 
we shouldn't make some vehicle types too dynamic or not dynamic enough. The physics were ready for update 10.0, but... Looking back now, it's perfectly clear that the decision to release the new physics in update 10.0, Rubicon, was wrong. And we're very grateful to everyone who pointed out our mistakes. We didn't just cancel update 10.0 and replace it with an update using another number and without certain features. The thing is that the player's feedback showed us that we were on the right path towards the new physics. But we needed more time to make everything work properly and smoothly. The physics available in the update 10.0 tests was very raw, with a great number of flaws and bugs that we have now fixed. And if players didn't point them out, we would have probably released those physics and then heroically fixed it afterwards. So we had more time to improve physics, and the players had more time to test it in common tests. So based on the players' opinions, we made sure that we went in the direction of gameplay rather than make it completely realistic. World of Tanks is a project that many people have gotten used to, and we couldn't break their habits or change them drastically. So in the common test we launched before the release, we tried to take into account all comments that players sent us during the year. They were about certain map areas you could now reach with the new physics. Wobbling aim when braking, lower maneuverability, and slower response when pressing a key. So, after we launched the common test, we received generally positive feedback. Most things that players asked us to take into account were considered, and players liked what we did. The latest test iterations showed that the current balance between the quality of gameplay and beautiful tank behavior gathered the most positive feedback from our players. So, we released it in update 9.14, We'll see how players use different maneuvers, how useful they'll be, and according to the player's reactions, we'll adjust and improve vehicle behavior. The work on the improved physics won't end after update 9.14. We will continue working in that direction. We also know about other issues that concern you. Among the biggest issues are the team balance, vehicle balance, and artillery. We will continue working on a solution to these problems.